These two 2023 Ford Super Duties look identical, however they're totally different. And I'm not talking about the appearance, I'm talking about the bed configuration. This is the standard box, and this is the long box. I did a video about a month or so ago saying I never understood why people bought long bed single rear wheel trucks. But I did not include Ford in that because Ford does some pretty unique things that the other two don't. In this video, we're gonna discuss that. Special shout out to Larry H. Miller, Super Ford. If you're in the market, this truck is available. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to post this video, but at this time, it's available. Now let's get the easy stuff out of the way. If you're looking at the powertrain, like the engine, transmission, none of that's gonna change whether you get a standard box or a long box truck. So if you want a diesel, high output, standard output, both of these trucks are available with those options. They do come standard with the gas engine, which is a 7.3 and the Lariat. Also, they both have a standard 331 axle ratio out back. You can get an optional 355. There's also a option to get a locker as well. Cab configuration options and features don't really change either with either truck too. Now let's go ahead and check out the price on the standard box and then we'll move over to the long box. So if you're looking at just the base price for a four wheel drive standard bed Ford F-350, $64,790. For the long bed, $64,990? That can't be right. So they're telling me that a long bed is only $200 more? Wait a minute. That can't be right. Let me go online real quick. Let me just make sure. Let me just make sure. I just checked online. Yes, that is correct. I did not know that actually. I never really paid attention to the pricing. So yeah. <laughs> a long bed is $200 more. That is a bargain. So let me get this straight. You get a longer wheelbase with this truck, which means if you are towing a fifth wheel or a gooseneck trailer or anything like that, you're gonna have better stability with this truck versus the standard box. Interesting. Something else you need to consider is this. Ready for this? You guys see that right there? This shows that this has a range of 668 miles. This is the long bed truck. This truck also has a full tank of gas, 518 miles till empty. Now most people know this by now. If you're looking at a standard box Ford F-350, you're gonna have a fuel tank capacity of 34 gallons. Hopefully you guys can see. That's the fuel tank right there, right? Okay. And if you're looking at a long bed, well, you increase that to 48 gallons. So that's a big fuel tank. So don't get me wrong. It makes sense to have a larger fuel tank because you have more space below. But do you remember the price difference? You get a bigger bed, which allows you to carry more stuff, obviously, right? But you also get a 48 gallon fuel tank and you get a longer wheelbase. And by the way, that's gonna help the truck ride better too, but also give you better stability going down the road. This bed is better suited for a fifth wheel compared to this one. And of course you have more space. And here's something else. See this right here? Gross axle weight rating on the standard box truck is 5,200 pounds. So if you're looking to do a snow plow or something like that, this truck has 5,200 pounds. So let's look at this one. You're gonna have 5,600 pounds. Interesting. So you get a better axle rating up front. 48 gallon fuel tank versus 34 gallon fuel tank. 
bigger bed, better stability for $200 more. You know, I've never been a huge fan of this truck. And the more I see the advantages, the more I like this truck even more so. And I do like Ford's long beds. Now, Tim, who's one of the commercial guys here, this is his truck. He tows a big old race trailer too. Now, I do personally like the steps on the side of the bed. That's a long bed truck. That's a good looking truck, by the way. I love the steps, guys. Like, I think they really do make this truck look a lot nicer. What do you guys think? I like the steps on the side. Now, let's go ahead and end off this video. Let's take a look at the payload numbers and the towing capacity because this is where everything kind of goes downhill for the long bed. Let's take a look at it. Up first is the standard box. I'm sure you guys saw it earlier, but you see what the gross axle rating is out back is 7,230 pounds. Gross vehicle rate rating is gonna be 12,000 pounds, okay? They did raise that from the 2022 model year. For the long bed, you have the same axle rating out back. However, you do pick up 400 pounds more for the gross vehicle weight rating. Now, here's two reasons probably why they did that. Number one, the longer bed's gonna add a little bit more weight to the truck, and number two, you're carrying more fuel. So in that case, they figure, you know what? Let's just give this truck 400 pounds more capacity because that GVWR being raised from 12,000 to 12.4 is gonna give you 400 pounds more payload capacity. So if this truck did not have a 12.4 GVWR, this would be 36.98 compared to 4,062 pounds. So you still get a little bit more payload, not much, but you get a little bit more payload compared to the standard bed. And I would venture to say that these trucks are the most identical trucks I've seen in a long time. The only difference is the bed configuration. Now this has a black parents, this has sport parents, but they both have 20 inch wheels, they have the same tires, they have the running boards, they have the panoramic sunroofs, they have no fifth wheel prep package on either side. Let me confirm that. Nope, not on that side. Yeah, these trucks are identical. They have the bed steps. I mean, they're both Lariat Ultimates. Like, when you look at payload, this is what the real world is. And again, having 400 pounds on this side more for gross fuel weight rating gives you a little bit more than this truck over here. Now, here's where the standard bed wins. You do get the exact same gross combined weight rating as the long bed. So you don't really change any of the towing capacities. Now this truck can tow 300 pounds more. I'm not gonna say that that's an advantage, but I am surprised that they both have the same gross combined weight rating. I thought this truck would have had a slightly higher one because of the longer bed, the better stability, things like that, but that doesn't transform into better combined weight rating. So I hope this video was helpful. I've been really looking at these trucks a lot more so, and I do like the long bed on these trucks. I think that the step makes this bed look like a standard box to me. I don't know why, but obviously when you see the truck in the wild, it is a pretty big dang truck. But yeah, if you are in the market, be sure to reach out to Tim here at the Super 4 store in Salt Lake City, Larry H. Miller, because this truck at this time is available. And these trucks have been coming available more so because I think a lot of people have sticker shock. So if you're in the market and you need a truck fast, hey, here you go.